Hi guys, welcome back. City Skylines, back on with a peak, and uh, we're continuing to build. Last time we built our telescope site, which hopefully provides some kind of university education. The farms at Nyko Farms are expanding, and they seem to have stopped being robbed of cucumbers. Uh, we built our recycling path so that the uh, waste management services can get to the city over here. And we built Tustin Heights, which is expanding rapidly. Uh, and that's actually brought us in, well, it was bringing us in a good chunk of money but I'm not quite sure what's happening now now one thing I haven't looked at for ages is power and uh, we seem to be doing okay on power water we are just about coping but I think my budget for water is down landfill usage is about 50% so everything's kind of okay um, you can strip if you want LT we can only see your head no I know but it's I think that, I think there is a rule in twitch like where it's you're, you're not even I think guys are not allowed to like have their shirts off or something I, th I swear that's that's right but um right anyway uh bu 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 what was i just saying about uh oh yeah about garbage stuff and water yeah and so with the budget for water i think our budget for water was down a little yeah it was so we can boost the budget for water a little let's just push it up like 95 so we had brought that down a little bit yeah it gives us plenty <laughs> Because we've been expanding quite quickly, and we still want to expand more as well. Like the, the guys are still coming in here. Right. So how are we looking through the city here? It's looking pretty good. Uh, let's just have a look at fire. I mean, yeah, fire and health and police and stuff are covered really well on here. The only thing we're not covered well with, and that has occurred to me, is is death care. And um, I think I've got like. I think there's, there's cemeteries and churches. A little surprised but that we haven't had issues with death care, but I think the reason we haven't had issues with death care is because I think there's also the kind of, like, more... Re it's not just realistic population, but the realistic life cycle. So I think we potentially haven't had issues. Now, here we are. Look, power is flashing. Yeah, we have just gone into the red on power. Now, as I've said, I don't want to build too many wind farms in one place. So I think the very next one that I put down will probably be the last one here. And then we'll have to look for a new site for power. So I'm going to put that there. And that should assist us with power. But uh, the only trouble is, is that this is a good site for wind power. But we should we should have a look around. <coughs> I mean, they could build really anywhere on this river. Uh, or right up here, look on the mountaintop. We could get wind turbines up there. But as you come down the valley here, it does lose a bit of that power. But you can still get some here in the shipping lane, but I'm not quite sure about that. This hilltop here looks rich for uh, wind farm. So I think that could be definitely one to go for up here. So we might consider that next time. And it would be very close to the power as well. It would be easy to link up. We could get plenty of wind turbines up on this hill. Um, it would be cool if there was some, like, I think there are some different... There was the offshore wind farm, but uh, it would be cool if there were some other wind farms as well, like just different kinds that you could put up on a hill, like bigger ones and things. Tips to reduce lag and FPS drops on an incredible amount of assets. Any idea, LT? Not really. Um, don't have so many. Get a better CPU. These are the things that you could do. Um, right. I mean, yeah, amazingly, this city right now is, is functioning pretty well. Um, traffic seems to be running pretty well. Obviously, we talked about getting the highway down here, but it doesn't seem quite necessary just yet. I do want to do the rail stuff, but we do have a lot of um, demand for residential, so I think we need to kind of keep building that. Um, like I said, I think one thing I wanted to do was, was bring this six lane up, so I think that's a good idea to do that. So we need to kind of branch out this way a little further. Now, I think I'm actually going to build this six lane on a kind of gridish, sort of to about here. And then the question is going to be sort of how well this runs up a hill. I don't think I want to use straight slope or anything like that. I think this road could be amalgamated into our main city road. And then this road here can be upgraded.
Okay. So, yeah, we've got that going on. I think what I need to do now is we're at a stage where I think we can fully upgrade all the way through. Like that. Because there's enough traffic coming up and down through here now that it warrants it. And then this could be... Well, I actually was thinking about putting this roundabout for the... Uh, for the highway up here. But uh, it could well be that the highway kind of... I don't know. Not sure, not sure. I think we do need to do it. I think that needs to be one of the next steps that we move there. Because I think we're going to start running into issues soon with uh, actual traffic and the amount of stuff we have going on with this. Let's start putting some uh, grass-lined verges on this part of town. So again, I'm just going to kind of go through this pretty loosely. I think, though, uh, I'm going to stop kind of gridding so much as we come down through it. It's probably really... Imagine if I left that like that. God, some people would be freaking out. Yeah, and I do want to get university in the mix. Question is where? I, I kind of want to put the university sort of like on the front here of the city, but... Listen, I'm starting to be an architect. I literally live in Skylines. Well, there you go. Um, but, you know, Skylines is pretty much all built, though, isn't it? If you're, if you're, if you're studying to be, like, a kind of, like, uh, I don't know, a road, road designer or something like this, that would maybe make a little more sense. But uh, maybe you could build some really cool mods or something. I don't know. That'd be cool. Build some good building mods. Um, right, so we need to get the university somewhere. I'm also thinking about where we can do offices. Actually, looking over here for university. This could be a cool area. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe we get the uni here. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's do that. Just going to bring this road out this way a little bit. Oh, fuck. I could have done that better, couldn't I? That has not helped me. I'm just going to do it again. I can't deal. can't deal with it. Right. Okay. So I think we get university here. And then I can do sort of campus buildings and stuff off of it. So. Oh yeah, the School of Earth Sciences as well. Oh yeah, and we also have the State Library as well. A load of new things which are really nice. The Research Science Centre. And you see, you've got these university little schools. It's, it's part of, like, the bigger university campus. So you've got all these other buildings, maths buildings and stuff. So that's really what I want to build, this, the dorms and stuff. So I think what this was, where the university stuff came from from this was kind of like in uh, SimCity, where you can build those kind of, like, modular buildings. And I'd said for ages that it would be really cool if you had something like that in Skylines. And uh, obviously somebody had the same thinking and decided to build this one but it looks really cool now what i need is uh uni 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 this one so this will be like the main sort of university building i guess and then we can build the other stuff off of that let's keep a little check on water here i'm gonna need to expand water over this way if i want to keep building down here so that will do us for now that means that hopefully we've got a big demand for uh, commercial right now as well so Let's get some commercial up on the uh, the shorefront here. Let's just, yeah, let's get some high density commercial in on that. And let's get some, uh, let's get some lower density commercial here on this bit of street. Get that in there. Right, big demand for residential still. So I think... Uh, We don't want high-rise bands. The other thing we could do, guys, you forget we've got ferries. And I had thought before about getting ferries in the mix. And I think that's what we're going to be doing. We need to get ferries down here. So I need to kind of start thinking about what kind of, you know, uh, seafront we're going to make here. So I think we could definitely do with, like, having a wharf or something. But 
And then what we'll do is we'll have a ferry which goes up through the river here and then, you know, obviously goes to Boomtown. But I'm, I think I'm going to need to expand Boomtown just down towards the shore a little bit. But the trouble is we're going to have that highway here, you know, so it's kind of a tricky one. Hey, Salty on the stream. I haven't seen you for a little bit, mate. Good to see you on board. Seafront should definitely be a different district and borough. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Should be. In fact, it could be kind of interesting because it'd be all the way down here. Let's just have a look at uh, wharfs and stuff. Uh, I need to remember how to do this because it's rare that we do this. So, yeah, we've got flood wall, but we've also got key. So, key is what we really want. I'm going to turn off anarchy for this to make sure it works right. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, I think we can start kind of like here. Then we can do around. The trouble is with the key though, it's always so high. What's the trouble with this thing? It's always very high. Do you know what I mean? Like you see, it's like it's very high up. But so let's go like this, and then come along. And we'll we'll landscape that up as well. There we go. It's cool to have a bit of rock sort of coming out of the key as well, I think. And then do we go around the corner here a little bit? I don't know. Kind of happy with it as is right there. But yeah, the trouble with that is... I don't mind having the key, but it just kind of... I don't mind having the key, but the trouble is, like I say, it kind of... It's so high up from the water level, and that's always my biggest issue with it. And you can't, actually you can, like you can, you can use, uh, move it, like to bring it down. Which is actually pretty good. Let's do that, like let's bring it down a bit. And then we're going to need to sort of smooth out this terrain here as well. Not sure that's going to affect our roads though, I think that's going to be problematic. But we'll see. That's not too bad. Passable. Makes a little bit more sense than we had before. What mod is it that you did the grey thing at the school before? What, where I was uh, painting? A surface painter. Painting the ground. Right, so that's our kind of waterfront. Damn, look at our uh, residential mod demand though. It has literally skyrocketed i think what we're going to do is yeah tooston heights is going to stay this area now what i'm going to do so there's going to be two new areas up for grabs uh so one is going to be this block over here so i'm just gonna do this son of a bitch so i'm going to do one borough down here this could expand a little this way, but for now that's where it's going to be at. I have repeat my request that they make a better job of doing these zones because they never work right. They're a pain in the ass. Because they stick obviously to the roads, but it's irritating. Because you have to do like this and then you have stupid crap like that happen. Right, there we go. Thing is, I think originally their plan was just for these districts to be like an entire town. I'm not quite sure whether they really meant for... Well, maybe they did, but if they did, then you know it needed to be done a bit better than it is. Right, and that's actually fine. Right, so if you would like this new... This is going to be like heavy residential there. Luton, if you smooth the edge of land, the key won't be so high. Okay, well, it's, it's fine now. It's done. Right, so we're going to get some high residential into this area. Interestingly, like, you remember when I put that down for the that high-density commercial, and it, it kind of didn't take, like, they didn't sort of use that. The only trouble I always have with this is just, like, that space in the middle and how that space in the middle is kind of wasted. That always annoys me. Maybe I can get around this a bit by sort of doing that and use this for, like, having a park or something. Just 
do that. Right, so we get some residential in on there. And again, maybe we can do this on this side as well, get like a park or something in here so that we utilise that space a bit better. Got the small... Ah, oh, amphitheatre. This is going to be a city of culture then, we should definitely go for that. Only, yeah, 40 a week. Let's get that in there. Uh, that doesn't look quite right now, but once we have like the big residential blocks in, it will look fine. Although, to be fair, would you buy a house right next to where they had like a big amphitheater thing, you know? All that late night noise, not sure. We'll put a load of trees around it so that it helps cover it up a little bit. Right, we definitely need to watch our power because we're getting a lot of residences coming in here and that's going to suck all that up. And we can always we can always fill the middle areas of those places with trees and stuff, you know, so it won't be quite so bad. Right, it's burning hot and I've been drinking a ton of water, so I actually need to take a two second break away, guys, so I'll be right back. Sorry, it's unavoidable. <laughs> Oh, I'm back. Okay. How would I cope with Australia's heat? I wouldn't. I would literally die. I would just I would just pass out. When I went to Nepal, it was like 43 degrees or something, and I just was dead. I was just dead. I just sat in the shade all day and was just like, I'm done. I'm done. I can't cope. Right, so... Things are looking good, getting some buildings and stuff happening in here. This is all looking really cool. So the town is going very well. Um, what's this? Baker? Princess Park? Great idea. Great idea. Princess Park. Okay, there we go. Princess Park is underway. In progress. Right, so that's it. Man, look at our... Uh, telescopic thing. It's like shining like a beacon at night. It looks so cool. Looks epic. Hashtag YouTube thumbnail. Uh, looks very cool though, doesn't it? I have to remember that I actually did that, otherwise I won't. <laughs> right, Nyko Farms is uh, still expanding. Amazing that we had that huge grab of industry and all that we got out of it was one farm. Like, it's kind of surprising. Oh, maybe it's because I only designated w one farm space. But nonetheless, I did expect more. A bit more in there, right. Okay. What's this? <laughs> Thanks, Salty. Righty, righty, hi. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's all panning together. Bit more residential demand. I'm, I'm still going to leave this for that commercial because when that commercial comes in, we can use it. But it's just not there yet. Uh, I'll keep building uh, high density in this area. But I think I'll still go on with my plan of building some parks to break it up a little bit. I think we need to do that anyway. Oh yeah, that's the road strip. Yeah, yeah. This middle road insert thing is quite good. It's very good if you want to kind of like use a thin strip to kind of like boost and it, it's good for like it's good for use versus industry and stuff there's the charging bull new york which i have to use obviously for the offices and stuff uh oh, family park that's nice okay let's get let's get family park in there and everybody is happy that's one that i designed that's one of my custom park designs 
Right, there we go. <clears throat> and there's even a bit of space here that I can build like a little pathway to go to a, like a park inside here or something. To be honest, a game that's kind of average graphically from far away. That's probably a good thing because otherwise, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's average far away. Like, I think like if you look at it like this, I think it looks cool. Like at night time, it can be a little bit too overbearing with the lights. I know what you mean though. It's like, yeah, but... <clears throat> I think it's just because, you know, the game has to literally... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. No. Just no. I thought Impossible Town had a ban on high-rise. How is that not... High-rise ban. How is that not classed as a high-rise? That is ridiculous. It's got 95 households, though. Can't really knock it down. Man, what bullshit. What bloody... Uh, it's bloody Kensington Council at it again. Kensington Council are like, yeah, it's fine. Check, go. It's all good. You can bloody you can build, build, build whatever you like. We don't give a shit. We'll come and look at it and we won't really look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's because nothing's impossible in Impossible Town. <laughs> okay. So that's developing nicely. We have got a little bit of commercial. So... It should use up this commercial zone, which I have placed, so that's good. Uh, right, we're doing good for... Now, we don't have... Oh, we've got high school. Yeah, we've got all the schools, so that's good. Let's have a look at um, fire, though. Fire is still unbelievably... That SimCity fire station is fantastic. Um, it's doing very well. We don't have any sort of fire services out here. I think it's almost worth us considering getting a proper fire services with the uh, helicopters and stuff, because... We do have sort of uh, things. I don't remember, by the way, what I set the disasters to on this one. Because I don't think I put it down. Yeah, random disasters, frequency. Yeah, frequency is very low. Uh, the frequency for disasters is low because I remember that last... The reason I said it's so much lower is that... I, what's that? Last level is banned with high-rise ban. You should have used district themes to prevent that, but too late now. Okay. What, what do you mean the last level is banned with high-rise ban? What does that what does that mean? You mean that like uh, some very tall buildings don't apply to that? Because if so, then that's stupid. And why can I not still use themes now? Yeah, we'll do it another time. It's not the end of the world. I can just knock it down and like dezone it as low residential if I want to. You have to explain it better. We're back to the old Rubik's Cube analogies on the Twitch chat. It's like if you want me to understand, you have to actually explain it in an explainable way. Otherwise, we're just talking riddles. Right, so let's have a look at... Uh, so we looked at fire, and that was good. Oh, yeah, and I was just saying about we maybe need to get that other stuff going. Again, look at look at the Cleekerson's health care. Oh, no, sorry, that's the death care. The death care seems to be... I can't believe that these are covering this entire area, but apparently they are, probably because they've got very little going on. Uh, medical clinics, yeah, we're, we're going to need another clinic, but I don't think we need anything too extreme. Um... Let's have, I think because we're in this city, I'm going to put the private hospital in. Also because this can take up like a good amount of space in these kind of residential areas. I'm going to put it on this corner here. There we go. Also, it will look kind of cool because this is a nice building. So it will kind of fit in there really well. Cool, so that's working. Buildings go up from level 1 to 5, but some buildings are already very tall as soon as they're at level 3 or 4. Yeah, this is true. This is a correct statement. Uh, right, now we need to get the railway in. Now, the other thing is, is like I say, damn, look at the residential. It has skyrocketed. We really are sort of making some solid progress now with our residential stuff. So we will just keep uh, adding that in on Princess Park right here. And again, I don't think I need to put a park here. So I'm just going to fill that straight in. In fact, actually, this whole area can just be filled. Look at it. Look at it. It's, residential is exploding. Literally exploding. Man, look at it, it's so fast. They literally almost can't build fast enough. Look at this, if I speed it up even more. Can you not put wind farms near radio telescope? Not really. Um, oh, actually, good point with power. Oh, it's actually doing good on power. Um, I don't, there's not actually a lot of wind up there, I don't think. Uh, yeah, look, see, like barely any. Which is surprising, actually. But there is plenty of wind up here on the hills, so I've got that as a resource. So I can use the hills, no problem. 
water is, yeah, water is getting touch and go. Now, again, surprisingly, we've been surviving just off the one original water pump. We've had barely any water pumping stuff going on. But I said that this area over here was going to be where we actually started to build stuff. Now, I don't think, uh, currently we've been just using the, obviously, the uh, sludge polluting uh, system. Now, I don't think we need to change that up yet, just yet. We're not producing enough pollution that it's going to be a big problem, but uh, we do need to start thinking about that. Now, I obviously need to uh, get some water coming in as well, so I'm going to put this upstream from that, obviously. Uh, so let's get that going on here. And we will connect that up. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect this. I'm going to, I'm going to put a pipe that goes along here and connects like that and the reason being is because I'm going to develop this area here for kind of like sewage treatment and stuff so actually again let's just uh, build in some roads here so I'm probably going to use uh, lanes because this is going to be like a small sort of industrial area really uh, except I don't think I can build off of lanes can I so I better not do that right and then we will put a road that goes like this and I'm going to design this road over here so that I can properly build in this area. Right, and then we'll come back to this. So, yeah, so I can build basically all along this complex. And then we'll just have another bit that comes down here. And connects up. And again, just design that. Right, so I should be able to get my... Uh, sewage treatment facilities going on here so we've got a range of different things we can use these kind of proper water treatment plants but I like the clarifiers they always look really good as a starting point anyway uh, so we'll start by getting some clarifiers in and that should more than enough deal with our sewage treatment needs and this way I can just easily connect those up Okay, awesome. So like I say, this will develop into like a more sort of industrial site, but at the moment we'll just kind of keep it down. That thing really doesn't like being out. Look at that. Zooms right out. Bang. Okay, right, our residential demand has happily dropped off. I'm glad that it did because I didn't want to have to kind of deal with that too much at that point in time. Uh, I am just going to take off some of these. Uh, you know what we'll do? Again, we'll, we'll use the system that I was using before. So we'll take these traffic light junctions off of here off of these little side roads and then we'll just put priorities because that works just fine so we just basically put uh, stop on those roads and then it still means that the uh, main highways get priority and again we can do this all the way along and that should help like our traffic flow a little bit as well uh, I'll put this on these So like that, put these all the way down here, so that the traffic can still flow. But it just gives it some regulation a little bit. Ugh. Oh. Did he respond? No. Buildings have levels, obviously, and they grow based on those levels. Yep. The high risk band rule only blocks the very last level they can reach. Some buildings have three. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I got that. That's what I. That's what I was saying when I when I saw it. I was like, how is that qualifying as a, a sort of a medium building? It's clearly whoever whoever designed that one for the game has kind of just misjudged its kind of uh, scale for the for the level that it builds at. Uh, that guy is getting a flashing death symbol though, so. Makes me want to check on death care right now. Which death care apparently is still good. But it just feels like it would probably be a long time. Oh, there we go. It just got, it just got dealt with. Anyway, things are ticking along nicely for us. So it's all good. I'm glad that we're uh, stopping at this episode though. Because my eyes are starting to burn. Either from hay fever or the heat or both or all of the above. Yeah, I think we definitely need to... You can see how much traffic is utilising these roads now. And I think we very, very much need to get our highway happening. So a couple of things we need to do. Like I said, I wanted to get the rail hub. But I think I need to deal with that next time because that's going to be a big deal. Um, 
this is working very nicely, but we definitely need to get our, our main sort of city thoroughfare road happening. So let's think about how we're going to do this. Road building yet again. So, if we have the highway come around here. Now, the question was before, do we just obliterate this road? Yes, I think so. Um, the question is, is instead of having this as like an ongoing highway, why does this have to continue on past this point? Because this gets very kind of like, you know, trees and all this kind of stuff over here. And, you know, we can only go on to this next grid square anyway. So we can't really go that much further down the line. So I actually think, I don't think this highway needs to go any further than this point right here. And so I think instead of, um doing some convoluted roundabout thing. I think what we actually need to do is just, for start, it's gonna move that out of the way. Uh, I think what we actually need to do is to just bring the highway around uh, at its level, bring it down towards the end. I mean, does it wanna even be raised? We'll have to redirect this road as well. This road will have to come into the city like over here or something. Uh, let's have a look. So, it's always going to be painful, but... It's always going to be painful to remove this road, but it's going to be easier for me to build without it being there. But, although I was using it as a guide before. The other thing is, like, do I actually bring this road down? Probably. But I think I'd rather bring it down on the straight than I would going around a corner, so... Right, let's see what happens with this. It's always a pain getting this done. It's going to have to be tweaked anyway, so I probably shouldn't worry about it too much. Like I say, we're going to have to make some small tweaks on it. So anyway, I'll, I'll fiddle around with that in a minute. But basically, at this point, then, we want to come down. So we're going from 20 down to 1. So again, in theory, if we go to about the same length, it should balance up the same and that's actually pretty good I'm pretty fine with that it's not too bad at all okay now obviously we need to fix this up here before I do that I'm probably just going to delete out the road underneath it's kind of cool having the road underneath I suppose I could have used the road underneath for like kind of uh just the garbage services or something like that, but that seems a bit silly. Okay. There's still a little bit more down here. There we go, that's it. Okay, cool. So now they will end up using the highway circuit. What's this? Elevated is expensive. Well, it, it's okay, because it... It wouldn't have made any sense for this bit up here to be elevated and then for it to just immediately come straight down. So I figure, like, go around like this and then bring it down. So that's just how it's going to be. Mm, this has got so much wrong with its curve that I'm tempted to just do it again. 
Well, I suppose I, I'm nearly there with it. Like, I don't need to... It just needs to kind of come in like this a little bit. Because this one is going to have to... There we go. That's, that's basically it. Yeah, that's not too bad. I say it expands a little bit here as they kind of uh, as the two roots come apart, but I'm actually fine with that. That's okay. Because then we need to converge these together here, so that's always good. That's always good fun. So really, what we need coming out of here is probably another six-lane road. like that, which then splits into the highway, but it probably wants to go on a little bit further. I'm not quite sure I want to just have, we could just put a six lane road here, but then just have it, um, have it as a fast highway or something. Road under the highway would have been a great bus lane. Yeah, but I don't really use buses. I find buses a pain in the ass in real life and in the game. They never bloody come, and then when they do, it's too many. It's always crowded and blah, blah, blah. Right. Like that. F beautiful. Fixed. Done. Nothing needs to happen. It's perfect. Oh, these freaking signs over the road, man. These bloody signs. Death of me. I swear we didn't used to have these stupid signs on the road. I think it's a mod. I really hate them, actually. It might be a mod, I think. But it's, it's a pain. Pain in the ass. Another death road. Yeah, it literally is. I think it's going to be unavoidable. Bastard. Let's try it a different way. Obviously not finished. Trouble is that looks crap with the bloody pedestrian crossings as well. Just doesn't look right. This is the most annoying thing. Switch to two lane. Well, I was thinking that, but it seems stupid, doesn't it? Going like three to two to three. That just seems silly. Damn it, prop and tree anarchy. Always forget to turn you off. Pain in my ass. Always forget about that stupid prop tree anarchy. It's a pain. I don't know about this. These 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 splits where you want to kind of just connect up are always a massive pain. And I really don't want to do a suspension repair shop nearby you. Yeah. I really don't want to do uh well for starters, I would prefer if this road was a little bit more straight. I don't really want to do going into two lane and blah blah. Prefer not to do that. Oh man, how triggered are we now? I mean, I, like I say, I don't want to do. Uh, I don't want to do two lane here. I don't want to do any kind of roundabout nonsense with this. Those splits are something you have to make in the asset editor to work, make them work. Well, there was there was one you could just place down, which I had, but I never really liked it. It's 
See, basically you're having that. It's, it's the zebra crossing that I don't like. It just, it just makes no sense. It looks stupid. See, it needs to be more like that, but... It's too much. It's because it's they're too acute. They're too, they're too close together. Really what you need is to kind of come in and then hit it like that. These things never work very well. It needs they need to sort of be like this. See, and it, it, that's what it needs to do, really. But obviously that looks awful. But maybe we can maybe we can kind of fudge it a bit. But see, that just looks awful. It just looks terrible. You know, it just it just looks crap. It's just not not good. Can't you make the connection road swing so they don't hit each other? Yeah, yeah, you can. Like I say, you can you can fudge it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe now I've got this in place, I can just upgrade it. Maybe have it not screw up. See, these roads are so much wider. That's the thing. See, it just kind of straight away. Although we've managed to do it without having the gigantic road sign in, so that's pretty. That's a bit, ah, uh, freaking hell. Yeah, see, that's the, that's what we want to avoid the most. It's that bloody road sign thing. If I could just somehow get away with having that, that bit there. Well, actually, that's, it's working better than before, but I'm just, I hate that road sign. There's usually like a, there, there, with all of these things, there's usually like a sweet spot where you can just about get it, there, that's it. Like I say, there's, there's usually like a little spot and you've just got to find that spot. Trouble is, I really want to move this over a little bit and... Maybe I can just get away with that. Uh, see, this has moved a bit. I uh, it depends on what... See, the trouble is with this. The trouble is with this. It depends on what angle you look at it at. That's the trouble. The kink in this road is very weird, though. Very weird. Like, it wants to basically be like that. That's the issue. I tell you what, though, if we were to able to have this without highway lights on, then it wouldn't create that shadow. Or we just don't look at it when it's got a shadow on it, and we just don't worry about it. <laughs> like we just kind of don't look at it in too much detail. I know it's not a shadow. I know it, it's where the the little kink is. But it, what I'm saying is, it, the kink that's there is having a shadow cast on it. I know it's not the shadow of the the light. What I'm saying is, the light over here is casting a shadow on that. Um, but. Uh, ugh. Annoying. Not really anything I can do about this, I don't think. Because I stretch it. It's, it's only going this way. And if we stretch this way, we screw this over. The only thing, potentially, is if I can do something with this. But, you know, let you see the problem. See, it's like, that's how you can get rid of it. Like I say, you've got to find that spot, and... I think how we had it is about... That's probably about as good as I can get, and it sucks. But, uh... I wonder if I can move this up. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Wait a minute. Hey? Hey? What's up? Did I fix it? I figured it out, figured it out, figured it out. Okay, case closed. Let's save. Don't crash. Oh, oh so I need to be saving in rotation, right? Okay. Okay, it's alright. 
Canadian looting emerges, eh? 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 It's all good. Okay. Right, it's so late, I really want to have a load of ice cream and just chill out watching a load of sh crappy television after this. <laughs> I'm going to go have a, a mint magnum and watch some stupid cartoons. That's my plan. That's my that's my elegant plan for after this stream. Right, the other thing we need to do is repair this road before we do anything else. So we need to get rid of this and we're going to send it off in this direction. Well, or... Or... Well, I suppose we don't really want to... No, no, no. Let's... Let's bring it in here. On the other end of town. Here. But I think this could be residential, so... Meh. I think Stan, good evening to you. Don't forget to fix the lanes of that junction. The leftmost one always turns left. Yes, I need to fix that. Thank you for that. Okay. Hope you're doing well, Lightning Stan, on the stream chat. Right, let's have a look. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sort of just temporarily put this road in, and uh, we're gonna worry about it later. Um, so I'm actually gonna bring this in to this side road that we built ages ago. Now, I know that's obviously a pretty crappy solution, but uh, the thing is, I can't really plan for this kind of road until uh, until we've got like a, a better resolution, essentially, so I'm just going to wait for now. Uh, right, let's have a look at this. So, Skull Road. Okay, there we go. Right, so that will serve the town how we need it to. And I think that is it. Oh yeah, I also need to adjust these uh, road junction things right here. Wait, well, I suppose, yeah, we don't want it always to turn left. What we want is the middle lane to be turn right only. And this one to be turn left only, maybe. Or turn left or right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's have a look at the others whilst we're at it. Uh... Yeah, so this wants to be also turn left, turn left, and this one wants to be straight on. Oh no, actually this one wants to be turn left and straight on. Uh, and that can be here, that's straight on, straight on right, and right only, which I'm actually fine with on that. That's it. Three, two, one, bake! Why is the first part of that road a dirt road? Uh, it's because this was originally just kind of like a little subsidiary sort of thing. Uh, it was like next to... Why am I still seeing everything? Uh, this was like a little subsidiary utility road uh, next to the substation. And so it's still kind of like a utility road, basically. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, uh, arguably, actually, I probably should make this to make it kind of in keeping. <coughs> Instead of going for that single road, I'll just make it... Because it's, it's just a utility road, you know, so... I'll just leave that as a dirt road for now. Here we are, look, we can see the garbage trucks coming. On their merry way. Right, so now we can actually see the highway in action, and it's actually working now. And uh, pleased to say that the roundabout seems to be working almost flawlessly. I think we could do with traffic lights. <laughs> Not sure. <coughs> traffic lights always a trouble. Oh, hello. I didn't, know, I didn't see this first time we did this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's happening here? I don't remember this being a thing. Oh my god. There we go. I don't know how that happened. Right. Oh, missed that one. Yeah. The only trouble is, is I think we're back to my old friend uh, roundabout fever. So Yeah, look, see? Three lanes crossing over. All right, that's it. I'm sorry. I know you don't want it, but I'm going to have to do it. Right. Let's think about this then. Oh, man. There's a lot to do on this one. Oh, 
Son of a bitch. These are like logic puzzles whenever you come to do these things. Right, obviously, the guys, let's start with this. I hate this crap. Okay, this is going over here. This one is going to go all the way around. This one is going over here. And this one is going nowhere, I guess. Or we do like the stop yield or we do traffic lights. Not again, hides under a table. Ah, uh, it just, I don't know actually. Maybe I could do this without these. I don't know. It definitely, let's just work it as we go. So this one definitely needs changing up. So look, if you want to go off there, you need to be in the right freaking lane. If you're going over here, you can go into, no, if you're just going around, Yeah, you can go in that lane or that lane, and if you're on here, you stay in that lane. Now, these guys here, I think I'll have to make it so that this one can go straight on as well. But we'll put like a yield marker on that as well. Uh, then here, this one again should just go straight around. This one again should go to there or to the outside. And this one here can go into either of those two. This guy here on the outside, he can go to the middle lane these two can go middle or inside inside only uh, this one here so again you should stay on the outside or you should go straight on there I'm just trying to time to keep in lane right this one's easy again stay on the outside lane go in that lane Again, turn off to either of those two, or go straight on. You can go only to there, you can only go to there. Uh, this one again should be pretty straightforward. So this guy, you've got to go into the right lane. This guy, you can go there. This one can go to the outside there, or it can go straight on. And this one can go straight on. And I think we need to make it here so that these guys can cross over in the fashion that I usually set these up. So basically any car can change lane. It's kind of hard to see. Ugh. Right, so let's see if that helps. Uh, I'm also going to put, like I say, a yield on there. And on there. And on there so that might help us a little bit and this one right here I don't want to put traffic lights on that so again let's just go for a, let's go for a stop on that one right let's see if that helps us at all it will take a little while I wish that they could drive like that in Toronto I'm not sure see we might get a little bit of stoppage here a lot of traffic coming across so we might have some guys stopping at this junction here but that's okay um, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I, there is a lot of, I don't know whether my stopping procedure is necessary, but we'll get a bit of traffic back up, but I'm just going to see sort of how much we get. Yeah, it's looking a little too much. Maybe we can get away with having yield on that instead of stop. Also, the main problem we're having right here is, uh, traffic bottlenecking because they're changing lanes. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic trying to get into that inside lane, and I suspect the reason for that is because they want to get over to this one. I tell you what we could do though is No, I think that's fine. Most of this traffic is going to want to get to that primarily. So and there's traffic turning off here, so actually what I should do is, yeah, okay. So actually what I should do is say, okay, this lane here, you go to the outside, not that one. And this lane here, you stay there, you stay there. So that's fine. Then they're going along here, you stay in that lane, you stay in that lane, that lane, that lane. And here, we don't want this changing up. And then here, 
This is where it gets tricky. Also, this is where I could do with another node. Maybe on this one I say, okay, you can change lane. You can change lane to that middle lane. And then here you can stay straight in this. And then this way, the green guy goes over there along with the orange. And then we say green, you don't go to middle, but purple, you can go to second lane. Okay. Right, let's try that. Yep, looks better. Looks better. You're still going to have this issue. Yes, it's backing up a lot. I think I'll change that to a yield, and hopefully that will make it run a bit smoother. So that way they don't have to do like full, full stopping. Yeah, that's working better straight away. Will you ever upload the Corellia map? This is a good question. The answer should be yes. Do you know what we also need to do here, guys? I think this is serving so much traffic that I think this needs to be a two-lane on-ramp, which might be a dangerous thing for me to do. But I think that would actually help us out a lot. Whether this is going to be feasible. Oh, it's maybe feasible. It sort of works. I'm going to give myself a pass on that one. Okay. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, Corellio is on a different hard drive, and I need to get that hard drive and put it in the PC to get it off, etc, etc. So, I'm not going to say no, never say never, but uh, it's not on my radar right now. Right, okay, that might help us out a little bit. There is a large amount of traffic obviously traveling up and down the highway here and uh, amazingly the uh, the roads into the town here seem to be handling it pretty well. Oh shit! That is a big, ho that is a big house fire for the Brook residents. Such a big house fire that they've uh, even called in the helicopters. Helicopter being a little bit liberal with it there, they were just like yeah whatever just drop it across the entire region it'll be fine. Might be those cars are just new people migrating in, might be a little bit calmer afterwards. Eh, it's possible. I mean, you've got to remember that we do have like quite a, a high density of people now in this area. Um, so there is actually a lot of people just kind of down in general, I think. But uh, no, it's looking good. Like the city over here is looking good. We've got some, uh, got some industry and offices. We have got the university starting. We obviously need to flesh that out a little bit more. Um, the last thing I want to do is start thinking about offices and... Um, it's always a challenge to think about offices. I'm very tempted to make the island here have offices on it. But I also think that we need to think about sea defences. Um, and flood walls and stuff. But, you know, would a flood would a flood wall here... Do we, do we put like a, a two-stage flood wall or something down for a tsunami? I'm not sure. We haven't put down any emergency stuff yet. And I think that definitely needs to be our thing. Even though the, the, the risk of... Disaster is low. Um, <coughs> and I think I never explained. The reason I decided to set the disaster stuff low is because I don't mind us having like one big disaster now and then. But I think last time we had like several things hit us like three in a row. And it was just, that was a little insane because it kind of like killed everything. And it was just a bit stupid, you know. And I sort of was like, uh, I'm kind of done at this point. It's like, you know, when you, when you get hit by three, when you get hit by three in a row, there's not much coming back from that. Yeah, a three, yeah, break wall. Um, that's what I was thinking about. Um, but, so we, ha we have this, like, flood wall. But it's it's canals. That's primarily for canals. I don't know whether it would really stop a tsunami. Um, probably no. But what if we did, like, uh, what if we sort of built up the land here? You know, we built up the land a little bit and created, like, a two-stage defense 
would that help us out a little bit or would it just kind of sweep past it i mean my, my thinking would be to to try and protect primarily the front of this area here i mean there is actually a little rise in the land naturally right here yeah i was hoping that it would just break the waterline i mean we could we could start to put this in just along the front here So we could we could we could lay this in like this, like bring it all the way along. Now I don't know whether can we go higher with this. We could probably use move it to go higher. Looting nothing stops a tsunami. Well, it wouldn't stop it. That wouldn't really be yeah, it wouldn't be feasible. But would it come up over it? That's the thing. If we if we had a line here, would it sort of hit and then go around it? So even if what I'm trying to say is, yeah, it might hit it, but if you could slow it or prevent it being quite so devastating. Turn the island into a big park, but put the offices elsewhere. Well, I know it would, I don't think it would, it would necessarily ruin the island. We can make it look, you know, I don't know. I'm just very paranoid. Have a channel on the sides. Well, that's the river, you know. There's some stuff. There's channels here. I don't know. I mean, it, if I if I build this, it will never happen. If I don't build it, we'll get wiped out. You're guaranteed, you know. So let's just try it. I'm t I'm tempted to try it just for the reason of I'm interested to see whether it even works. Because don't forget, we can always call in a tsunami ourselves. So this will be our first sort of break wall here. Right, there we go. Right, so that's that. And then we need to have, it will come up over it, Luton. Flood is manageable, but tsunami is literally a wall of water. Yeah, I know, I know what a tsunami is. I, I've, I, you know, we've seen it. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that if it can help sort of break it or slow it down, that might assist. A uh, few says, in answer to this, it would help. The land already has a big rise in it anyway. The barrier is a huge elevation change for the water to go up. Thus, it will lose energy and save lives. Exactly. Now, I might just uh, uh, expand the land a little bit here. Because it's got a little rise in it. But if I can just build it up a little. So, I just want to bring this up a little bit. Not much. Save the city and test it. Well, the trouble is, like I've said before, that the problem that I have with tsunamis is that they take literally like 20 bloody minutes to come in. So... I might do that on a separate day. Do you know what I might do is I might I might do this as a separate own episode where I I do do it off stream, and, uh, and then basically I'll I'll bring the results to you guys on YouTube. That's probably my plan. Now we don't need to raise this really high or anything, but because otherwise we'll be sitting here all evening waiting for it to hit. City, City Skylines Mythbusters. Oh, damn. You've just come up with a whole new uh, whole new series for me on YouTube. <laughs> right, so let's increase this. And, uh, you know, people say, like, oh, you, you ruined that nice island. Well, I think, you know, we, c we can make it a feature. You know, it doesn't have to be ruined. Uh, we can add other stuff onto here. This can be like a utilities island or something like this. You know, we can we can put a road out here for workers to come out and inspect things and all this kind of stuff. So we can we can decal it up and decor it up so that it looks more than it is. Right. Right. Let's get our wall in here. As I say, no idea if this is going to work, but how do you know if you never try? Okay, right, so there's our second wall. Be very interesting, very interesting. Like I say, I kind of want to uh, extend that to there. Right, so that's our potential flood protection barrier. 
no idea if it will work. We shall discover. Like I say, I will attempt to kind of like fill this in and sort of, you know, potentially we can build some other bits. Sod's Law states the moment we unpause the scenario will happen. Yeah, well, we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, that's where we're at with this one, guys. I think we'll finish here. Um, so as I say, it's going pretty well. Uh, we've got the city working. We've got the road working now, so that's really good as well. Um, we obviously want to continue. This is going to look a little bit blocky for a while. Um, but we need, need to kind of add some other elements in here, feather stuff out. The next thing we'll be working on is obviously like down the key here. And uh, we'll be working on sort of other elements here. Maybe another sort of lower lower residential area, I think, down here. So like we have the higher residential, lower residential. I think potentially like another lower residential area out here, out here. Then maybe we'll get some more high rise buildings over here. We've got the whole university complex uh, down here. We want to, I don't know. Um, I always feel like offices work very well on a riverside. Uh, so maybe we'll get offices out this way of town, you know, somewhere out here. This seems like a good place for offices. Uh, so housing, offices, housing, and then sort of seafront, maybe some more residential or something like that. We should probably think about getting like a, a passenger port or ferry as well happening at that point and get ferry hooked up to Boomtown. So those are the other things happening. But yeah, it's coming on really well. We've got a little farming area. We've got, uh, you can see right here, the, uh, the road highway working really, really well. So it's all coming together. And uh, it's looking really nice. The other thing we obviously want to do is get the railway in. Um, and also there's, you know, potentially do we want to start thinking about getting a monorail? Do we want to get a monorail running down through the city here or something like this? You know, a couple of things going on. We do need to have some form of downslope going down to going to the edges of the island. So water has a route to escape once the main tsunami has withdrawn. Otherwise the island will be, be a floodplain. Um, yeah, it's true. But I think... Uh, I think it does actually, you can see, look, it does sort of slope down this way and over here. So I think it would be all right. Where's my topography? Well, he says that looking at the map. Yeah, it's tricky. But it's okay because, uh, yeah, look, see, you can see, like, the land, it is kind of like on a slope here, but this bit is a floodplain. But, um,. If there's any water left, you always get those vacuum guys go around and clean up all the water. You meant on my defense island. Oh, you mean right here. Well. I suppose what we could do is. I suppose what we could do is just sort of smooth from this end. Back down this way or something. No. Not like that. So if we do this, look, I think that'll be enough. There we go, that'll do it. And also, we can always decor this up with trees, you know, that's a classic. Hide it with trees. You can't go wrong hiding stuff with trees. Get bushes and trees and all sorts of stuff going on with this. I'll soon hide this up. Just start right now. Let's take a uh, Norfolk Island Pine Young. The trees actually build on top of the thing, oh, yeah, so strength up here. So we can just kind of fill in this as like a little tree, you know, it could be, this could be a, a nature reserve slash our defences as well, you know. So it's at least a little better, you know, we'll kind of uh, block it off for the people in the city to look at so that it's, you know, not quite so horrific. It could even be, we could make it like a redwood, big redwood forest. Like they have in, uh, you know, opposite San Francisco. Get these coastal redwoods in here, look. Big redwood forest. Let's do that, actually. Let's just fill this in here. Be like a tourist attraction for people to come see. Some other little vegetation in there.
Right, let's get some more conifers, get some of these guys in. Try and mix this up a little bit. Maybe as well, if we actually have these, maybe maybe the trees will even help us a little bit. Maybe the trees will even act as a little bit of a, a defense as well. I'm not sure some of these really big trees will actually be right on the coastline here because of the wind. A small fire would destroy this place. Well, like any fire. Let's hope that doesn't happen, eh? Some other little trees in here. Yeah, so maybe, maybe these trees will even assist us a little with our defences, you know, sort of help break that water. Right, there we go. Perfecto. As I say, I can always get in there and tweak it a little bit further, <coughs> but uh, I'll give the guy something. As I say, I will work further on that. It's like a rough point. Trees are just something that the water will smash housing with. Yeah, exactly. This is this is the troubles. But uh, yeah, we'll have a think about that. As I say, I can kind of flesh this out further anyway, but um, yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Right, there we go. That's it for this one, guys. So I'll see you next time on Skylines. Thanks for watching. See you next time.